My daughter Christina and her family shop at Costco all the time. But not just anybody can. To shop at Costco, you need to become a member. And to become a member, you have to pay. It might be 50 bucks, might be 100 bucks, might be 100 pounds in the UK. But why on earth would anybody pay to shop in a store? Christina is willing to pay for what she piles into her shopping cart, whether that's a lifetime supply of toilet paper or a gallon jar of ketchup. But do we ever pay for the privilege of shopping in somebody's store? Well, at Costco we do, and Costco loves it because those membership fees we pay at Costco add up to two-thirds of their operating profit each and every year. Talk about a customer-funded business in spades. Now let's talk about some more examples. People ask me why a company would want to use a pay in advance model. Well, why wouldn't you? If your customer isn't willing to pay you in advance, maybe that's really good information for you to have now because maybe they're not willing to pay you at all. So getting pay in advance besides having the cash is good for you because you get an early indication of how eager your customer really is to buy what you're selling. Of course, there are five models here, and in some sense, all five of them involve paying in advance. So the selling company gets the customer's cash in advance. But pay in advance is really simple. You just ask the customer to pay for what they're gonna buy in advance. That's what Michael Dell did, and you can do it too. These guys, everybody's talking about Elon Musk, but the really cool thing is what he's done with customer funding. For the new Model 3 Tesla, he sold almost half a million cars in advance for which he took deposits of $1,000 from every customer. Now do the math. Half a million customers times $1,000, that's half a billion dollars that Tesla now has to fund the fitting out of the factory for the Model 3 and fund the rest of what it needs to grow the business. Tesla, surprising to many, is a customer-funded business. When I work with companies to encourage them to use a customer-funded model, often they get nervous because they haven't asked their customer to pay in advance before. But you know what? If a 19-year-old college freshman named Michael Dell can ask for and get his customers to pay in advance, can't you do it too? Sometimes I get asked if there are any disadvantages to using a pay in advance model. The only one I can think of is if you go spend that money wildly or foolishly and then you run out of the cash that you are fortunate to have. People often ask me why customers would be willing to pay in advance. Well, if you're solving a compelling problem that that customer has, and if you're the only person who can solve it that way, they're going to pay you if it's a compelling problem. And if it's not a compelling problem, then maybe you need to rethink what you're selling in the first place, because who wants to try and get paid for solving a non-problem? There are other ways, too, how you can get your customers to pay in advance. Sometimes you can offer a discount, hopefully a small one. Another way is to give them an exclusive, maybe in a certain field of use that's just theirs, or maybe for a certain period of time after which you can then sell to everybody else. So there are lots of ways to give your customer a good reason to pay you in advance. In many kinds of businesses, there's a maintenance contract, a monthly service agreement, or something like that. And for too many businesses, those payments are made monthly in arrears. Well, don't you think you could get your customers to pay you quarterly, or maybe even annually, in advance? Can you imagine the difference that would make to your cash flow?